All right, relax. Hold on. Don't try to get up. Don't move. Don't, uh, that's ill advised. Don't move. I'm coming. It's very confusing and disorienting at first. Hi there. Hi. Welcome. Let me help you up. How you doing? Feel better? Good. Good. Welcome to your new home, Offensive Halloween Purgatory. It's where this year's most offensive Halloween costumes come to live out their eternity. My name's Luis. I am Cuban Trump. I thought it was a good idea. Turns out there's like a thousand other guys here in terrible Trump costumes. Follow me. This is Vince. Can you guess what he is? I'm Duck Sal for Harambe. Get it like, like dicks out, but, but ducks. Honestly, I don't know how this costume's that offensive, but the pun is so bad, he deserves to be in purgatory. Follow me this way. This is Diani. She's dressed as a sexy Pocahontas. I didn't think it was cultural appropriation if it was really, really sexy. Turns out making a stripper version of traditional cultural dress is super offensive. You're offensive! All right, let's meet John. Who doesn't look that offensive until you ask him what he's wearing? What are you wearing, John? Uh, black ties matter. You took institutional racism and police brutality and turned it into a goofy costume? Yeah. I see nothing wrong with that. You're going to meet a lot of white idiots like this down here. Take this one, for example. I'm Colin Cosby, Nick. If you think this is bad, you should have seen him before we cleaned him up. They made me wash off my face paint. For the last time, Ty, it wasn't face paint, it was blackface. And the difference is, what you had on is super offensive. Oopsies. <laughs> All right, moving along. You know, I'm not sure where sexy Kim Davis is. I'm sure she's around here somewhere with one of the Kardashian kidnappers. Anyway, you're here for eternity. I'm sure you'll meet them. Speaking of which, look, we try not to judge one another around here. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all just idiots who made really bad decisions with our costumes. But if I had to be 100% honest with you, you disgust me. I mean, white Beyonce, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Stop it. It's not OK. I thought Cuban Trump was bad, but white Beyonce, that's just. Offensive! <laughs> Who's that guy holding the knife? I don't know. He wasn't on the call sheet. Run! Don't you know it's scary? The fiesta! I love drinking so much. Hey, guys. Happy Mexican Independence Day! Come on! Excuse me. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day. It's to celebrate the Battle of Puebla, won by me, General Ignacio Sarcosa. 